Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman. Go to MMAForSelfDefense.com, subscribe to my YouTube page, youtube.com slash DanTheWolfman1. Subscribe, you get all kinds of stuff. I have over 400 videos, striking submissions, Kali, Sistema, all kinds of stuff, combative stuff, MMA stuff. Okay, here's some grappling stuff. You can use an MMA and just straight grappling. The pretzel twist that I have in another video, in my mount videos, I show that in combination with the S-mount arm bars and stuff. So look up S-mount arm bars and, and the one with the pretzel twist. I'll show the pretzel twist again and then a uh, secondary finish off of that that Gene LaBelle showed me the other night, the LaBellian position. Okay. So if a guy in MMA has got his hands here on his forehead to block punches, it's not the best position, but a lot of guys do it or they just get crossed up and stuff. You just get guys getting crossed up together. I hop my knees up high. You see I pinched his shoulders together. That made his arms cross by me hopping my arms up high. I pull his wrist, separate them, and go to the pretzel twist. I break his arms on himself. Try and come up the top, view on the, on the arms. Here, I pull the arms across so they're deep. My knees push them together across, and then here. Come up and look straight down. Here, okay, on the arm, just the arms, and then twist. See, is not, if they're not deep, you can't do it. So you pull hard, and your knees get inner thigh master pressure, okay, and then you break his arm on his arms. From there, just stay there. For a secondary finish is the labellion. I can step the foot up on the bottom arm, the arm that's on bottom, and then break his arm with a straight arm bar, sitting on his chest against his own arm or his leg, wherever the lever ends up, or both. I showed my leg in for power. I can go this here, I can hit him in the face, I can go into my armpit, break his arm there into the armpit while I'm hitting him in the face, while I'm giving him a noogie, while I'm pitching his nose, while I'm poking him in the eye, whatever you want to do for competitives, for MMA. Okay, so again, let's go to a different angle, maybe. Even in straight up grappling, you're here a lot of times looking for arm triangles, trying to dig under this elbow and stuff. A lot of times I just I'm here with my weight, I'm being heavy on the guy, and I jump up on the guy. See, I'm inner thigh master pressure, it doesn't feel good, does it Chris? No. It doesn't feel good. And your face is in a bad spot. Yeah. Your friends are going to make fun of you. Okay, I pull his arms across, I break his arm on his own arm, twisting him. I came up with this for grappling just from basic wing chum. Okay, but it's been around forever because Gene Bell's done stuff from this. And then you go to this position, step over, trap the bottom arm, the bottom arm with my leg, and go to a straight arm bar. Hit him in the face, trap it in the elbow if you want, a nasty, nasty break. He can't do anything. I could go to the speed bag on his face if I want. And break him right there. Okay, one more time. Sorry, Chris. Uh, we're here, he's covering. Oh, fuck. How <laughs> about to, I call this the super high mount. Okay, he was only half crossed this time. Same thing, he crossed the same way because he doesn't have it. Maybe it'd be on the other side. So you got it on both sides. Pull deep. Break the arms. Y'all tap, tap, tap. Okay. There's your foot or your snap your thumbs. That's good too. Okay. So the pretzel twist, Wing Chun style. My elbows are tight. I got good leverage. I could go boom. I could snap fast for combatives. Real self defense. He's got a weapon. I'm gonna snap fast. Or I can step over that bottom arm and get the arm bar here. Using my my leg as pressures the fulcrum as well as his arm is behind his elbow for this one. See this? It's the same as this, guys. Okay. Okay. Wrist lock. Down with gooseneck. Okay, so it's not a bad day for him. Let's just get it from grappling, get a different angle if you kind of is it down there or over there. So the pretzel twist. Look up my video, the S-mount arm burns. Guys, all my techniques from the, the mount. And here's another added on addition. Gene LaBelle go guard style, okay? So we're in here grappling. Maybe he's got his arms around. Maybe he's just maybe defending here at T-Rex. Back here, like he's defending chokes. Okay, or I'm going, I'm trying to dig under the elbows to get key locks and arm triangles left. I can just hop up. And he did the cross again, same way. Here, he crosses other way. Let's pretend he crossed this way this time. He got kind of jacked up this way. He gets kind of jacked up this way. I'm up high, I pull his arms deep. My knees are high, I'm in the super high mount. I twist them this way. Super high mount, twist them this way. Again, twist, break. Step over the bottom arm. Arm bar, straight arm bar this way on my thigh this time. Armpit arm bar there. 
got the gooseneck wrist lock, got the thumb in the eye, got the punches, got the face, got the whatever I want to do to this man, I got them all tied up. Switch, the spider web, armor, the other side, whatever you want to do. By jumping into the super high mountain guys is the important thing in crossing the guy up. Now I don't think there's submissions are there where you're going to S mount all your different S mount members are there as well with the super high mount. You would be surprised just jumping up there how much opens up because you're compressing his arms together and getting him all tied up. All right, so there's the pretzel and the labellion. Thank you, Gene LaBelle. Thank you, Gokar. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Dan the Wolfman One. Thanks. See you guys.